Our friends at Capcom are working on many new elements that will enhance the experience for players of Monster Hunter Rise, including new stories, locales, monsters, and, although not touched on in the trailer, new hunting actions and quest rank. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is scheduled to release as paid DLC in summer 2022. Please stay tuned for more information in the future. All right, let's see our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Party during the day or at night. It's almost time to party in the Mario Party Superstars game. Along with Spaceland and Peach's birthday cake, several other boards make their return. Take a stroll around Woody Woods, but watch out for those Monty Moles. They'll change the board's direction when you least expect it. Travel between two islands and Yoshi's Tropical Island. Toadette's got the star, but she might swap places with Bowser at the last second. Party day and night in Horrorland. That King Boo statue is harmless during the day, but at night, it'll swipe stars from unsuspecting players. Need a break from boards? Head to Mount Minigames and play in minigame-only courses. Compete against players worldwide for the longest win streak in survival, or work together in the cooperative multiplayer tag match. Mount Minigames will have seven courses available. All boards and minigames support online play. So invite family, friends, and frenemies, and get ready for the party of a lifetime. Mario Party Superstars launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 29th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. A new RPG is in the cards. Welcome to Voice of Cards. At the Queen's behest, you'll set off on a fantastical journey to slay a fearsome dragon for honor and fortune. Everything in this realm is represented as cards, from the protagonists, to shops, towns, and environments. In this fresh take on tabletop RPGs, you'll square off in turn-based card battles, where your skills and a little bit of luck will determine the victor. A spellbinding experience from the creative minds of Yoko Taro and Yosuke Saito is about to unfold. Voice of Cards, The Isle Dragon Roars launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. Pre-orders and a free demo will be available today on Nintendo eShop. Become a hero or an absolute disaster of a human being. You awaken in a hotel room in the city of Revishal, devoid of your memories. Soon, you learn that you're a detective and get entangled in a strange murder case in the groundbreaking role-playing adventure Disco Elysium, The Final Cut. As you interrogate people and uncover clues, internal dialogues will begin. To investigate, you'll need the help of the 24 skills living within you. Your behaviors and available choices will change depending on how you develop these skills, directly impacting how the story progresses. What sort of detective will you become? Disco Elysium, the final cut, launches digitally on Nintendo Switch October 12th. The physical version of the game will launch early 2022. Pre-orders for the digital version begin today on Nintendo eShop. Uncover more stories in Hyrule Warriors today. today. Ooh. Hyrule Warriors. Excited for this one. And a 
about that courageous friend of yours. It seems I owe him as well. Yeah. The king of Hyrule must not fall! You know, you're pretty good for a little kid. We'd better partner up on this, don't you think? They won't harm you. Let's go! Ready, set, Chocobo! Oh my. Start your engines and get set for a new racing experience. Race as familiar Final Fantasy characters like Chocobo and Gilgamesh to be the first to cross the finish line. Edge out the competition by using Drift Boost to cut corners. Magical stones called Magicites are contained inside items. Collect these throughout courses to cast magic like fire and arrow to blast away opponents. Acquire Magicites of the same element to cast even more powerful spells. Each racer also has a special ability. Use it at the right time to turn the tables. <laughs> Gilgamesh, bring out all the weapons. Engine customization options will be available, as well as local and online multiplayer. New Mario Kart, anybody? Except it's Chuckabo Racing? The 64 players can compete in a bracket style tournament Think to so. determine the racing champion. Chocobo GP races exclusively onto Nintendo Switch next year. I'm getting that. Oh boy. What did you think? Before we show you our next video, we have some news about the last fighter for the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. Mr. Sakurai, the game's director, will reveal this fighter in the final Mr. Sakurai Presents video on October 5th. Ah, uh, we don't play, we don't play Smash Bros. much anymore, so... Hey Trey, welcome to the stream, man. Three years since the game was released. This will be the last presentation about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I hope you'll check it out. Next, please take a look at this. This might be something we get to. Get him with the sword! <laughs> oh, that's cool.
for Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I have to make sure I remember that. Spring 2022. Definitely got to remember about that. That was the trailer for Kirby and the Forgotten Land. In this new game, you can freely move around in 3D areas using familiar Kirby moves. The setting also appears to be mysterious, filled with abandoned structures from a past civilization. What lies in store for Kirby? The game is scheduled to release in spring 2022. We hope you'll look forward to Kirby's new adventure. Next, we have this to show you. Please take a look. Since its launch in 2020, the Animal Crossing New Horizons game has been enjoyed by many players around the world. New free content will arrive in November. In preparation for its release, we will be airing an Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct in October. In it, we'll go over the content in more detail. Please be on the lookout for the air date of this presentation. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Two games, one game update, and lots of fun. Four! More free content is coming to the Mario Golf Super Rush game. Koopa Troopa enters the fairway as a playable character. Nice shot. Dish out tricky shots and dashes to mess with the competition. Ninji will also be playable. Take advantage of Ninji's blinding speed to outpace opponents. Two courses are also being added. These additions will come swinging in as a free software update later today. Oh, cool. What's this? An invitation. You're invited to live in a magical world with Mickey Mouse and dozens of Disney characters. Spend time with Disney friends, craft your own whimsical costumes and furniture, and explore delightful Disney-themed worlds. All downloadable content from the original Nintendo 3DS version is included. Disney Magical World 2 Enchanted Edition soars onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. A beloved Star Wars game is coming to Nintendo Switch. Blast off to captivating planets and join forces with Jedi, droids, and outcasts in this blend of action, role-playing, and adventure. Will you use the Force for good, or will you be lured to the dark side? Your choices determine the galaxy's fate in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, launching on Nintendo Switch November 11th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Nice. Yeah, Kotor. Must always remember, stay human. This is the city, humanity's last stronghold against a virus that turns people into the undead. In the cloud version of Dying Light 2, Stay Human, you'll need to master both parkour and tactical combat to survive in this brutal open world action RPG. I'm getting this one too or with up to three other players in online co-op as you unravel the dark secrets of those in power during the day. Then plunder the layers of the infected at night. Your decisions will shape the story, but they'll also have consequences. No matter where your actions lead you, there's one thing you must always remember. Stay human. While you're at it, take the prequel on the go in Dying Light Platinum Edition. Scavenge for supplies, craft weapons, and face hordes of the infected in a post-apocalyptic open world. Dying Light 2 Stay Human Cloud Version launches on Nintendo Switch February 4th, 2022. A free demo will also launch the same day on Nintendo eShop. 
Dying Light Platinum Edition comes to Nintendo Switch October 19th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Utility, Morality, or Liberty. In Triangle Strategy, a fiery chronicle of war presented in stunning HD 2D. My apologies. Your actions will lead you through a riveting story that changes based on the decisions you make. In the end, where will your conviction guide you? You have gone to the one place I cannot follow. In response to the survey about the demo released in February of this year, the game has been fine-tuned with a focus on elements that received lots of feedback. These include adjustments to the difficulty, improvements to on-screen visuals, camera angle controls, the ability to review previous dialogue, and streamlined game flow and loading times. More details are now available on Nintendo.com. Splendid! Triangle Strategy will launch on Nintendo Switch March 4th, 2022. Oh, no, I'm getting it for PC. Yeah, this without a doubt. Oh, she did. Yeah, we're going to be playing this a lot next month. Oh, I mean a lot. Samus Aran, the most powerful bounty hunter in the galaxy, embarks on a new mission to the uncharted planet ZDR. Her objectives? Confirm whether the deadly X parasite still exists and figure out why the Emmy research robots in search of it have mysteriously gone dark. Early readings reveal that planet ZDR is divided into multiple environments, each with its own elements and organisms. Remnants of the mighty Chozo civilization are also scattered throughout, including evidence that the Chozo may have once called the planet their home. Visit metroid.nintendo.com to read Metroid Dread Report Volume 8 for a detailed account of the terrain and life forms you may encounter in the Metroid Dread game. Be sure to view the other Metroid Dread Reports there as well. You'll want to prepare yourself for the dangers that lie ahead. Metroid Dread launches on Nintendo Switch October 8th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Yep, I've already got mine pre-ordered at my local game store. How was that? Up next, we have news about Nintendo Switch Online. Many people have been using Nintendo Switch Online since it launched in September 2018. In addition to the current membership, we'll be adding a new membership plan. As a part of this new plan's content, you'll be able to play a collection of Nintendo 64 games. Yeah! system launched 25 years ago. I think this system gave many players their first 3D gaming experiences, as well as intense four-player multiplayer action. With Nintendo Switch, up to four people can play select Nintendo 64 games locally or online. Yes! Membership plan. In addition to the Nintendo 64 games, we were just talking.
talking about this? You can play a collection of games from Sega's Genesis system. This means you'll be able to play these classic games whenever and wherever you'd like. The new plan will include all elements of the base Nintendo Switch online membership, as well as the ability to play the included Nintendo 64 and Genesis games. This is Nintendo Switch Online plus Expansion Pack. This new membership plan will be added in late October. Of course, you'll still be able to continue using the existing plans. Also, those who have an existing membership plan can change over to the new plan. We'll share more details about this new membership plan at a later time, including the exact release date and pricing information. For now, however, we'd like to announce the games that will be available when it launches. You'll be able to play the Nintendo 64 game shown here, as well as these Genesis games. We'll also continue adding more Nintendo 64 games such as The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask and F-Zero X, as well as other Nintendo 64 and Genesis games going forward. Furthermore, we've prepared Nintendo 64 and Genesis controllers to ensure the games can be played with the same style controls from their original releases. Nintendo, take my money! These controllers will be available for purchase by any Nintendo Switch Online member. We hope you'll look forward to this new membership plan, Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. There's plenty to play in these collections. Cyberpunk meets fantasy in this three-game collection of cult classic RPGs. As a Shadowrunner mercenary, you'll explore a dystopian future where magic has reawakened and fantasy creatures have come back to life. Immersive branching narratives, skill-based character growth, and gripping turn-based tactical combat await in Shadowrun Trilogy, launching on Nintendo Switch next year. The perpetual struggle against Count Dracula continues. Castlevania Advance Collection brings together four classic Castlevania games with deathly beautiful graphics and hauntingly epic music. The rewind, quick save, and button mapping features will also vamp up or ramp up your fight against evil. All regional versions of each game, as well as a gallery mode with never before seen artwork are included. Castlevania Advance Collection launches on Nintendo Switch later today. An almighty classic returns. The classic Super NES game ActRaiser returns on Nintendo Switch, now remastered in HD. As the Lord of Light and Almighty God, only you can save mankind from the forces of Tanzra, the Lord of Dark. You'll wage war in two phases. First, strike down monsters in the side-scrolling action phase to liberate the lands from the grasp of evil. Master swordsmanship and magic to vanquish all who stand in your path. Then, cultivate the lands you've liberated in the world-building creation phase. It's up to you to decide which structures will be destroyed to make way for new ones, creating a flourishing civilization. As you do so, your powers will increase, giving you an edge in both phases. Alternate between the original and rearranged versions of the beloved soundtrack and enjoy brand new music. New stages and new boss battles also await. Act Razor Renaissance descends onto Nintendo Switch later. My dad used to play that game. Long time ago. A new chapter is about to unfold.
Shin Megami Tensei 5. Woohoo! How's everything? There are still a few more announcements in today's Nintendo Direct. Koizumi-san. Oh, Miyamoto-san. What brings you in? I wanted to make an announcement, so I was hoping I could step in. Oh, of course. Hi, everyone. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. We've previously announced that I have been working with the Hollywood movie studio Illumination and its CEO and producer, Chris Melodandri-san who are known for movies like Despicable Me and Sing in making a full-length animated Mario movie for the big screen. Today, I wanted to announce its theatrical release timing. Ta-da! The movie will be released in theaters in holiday 2022. The release date for North America is on December 21st and we'll be announcing release dates for Japan, Europe, and other regions at a later timing. It'll be a while longer until we can share a glimpse of Mario in action on the big screen. But today, I also wanted to reveal our key cast members who will be voicing Mario and his friends in the movie. First, of course, is Mario, who will be played by Chris Pratt. I hope he's got a good Mario. Mario will be talking a lot in the movie. Please look forward to Mario as performed by the very talented Chris Sun. Next, Princess Peach will be played by Anya Taylor Joy. I can't wait to see a very spirited Princess Peach. Mario's little brother, Luigi, will be played by Charlie Day. I'm excited for you to see this timid sibling appear on screen. Bowser will be played by the one and only Jack Black. <laughs> Monster performance by Jackson. The comedian Keegan Michael Key will be playing Toad. I'm looking forward to. He's got a really good Toad voice. I've heard it. Even though this is a Mario movie, Donkey Kong will also be making an appearance. He will be played by Seth Rogen. I'm eager for you to see a humorous Donkey Kong by Seth's son. And of course, Charles Martinet, who has voiced Mario and many more Nintendo characters in our games over the years, is also involved and will be appearing in surprise cameos in the movie. We also have more incredible talent joining the film to play some of our other beloved characters. That is all I can share with you today about the Mario movie. This is a very collaborative project between Illumination and Nintendo. We've all been coming up with all sorts of ideas, and I myself am enjoying a creative process that is a little bit different from making games. It may be a while until we can share more updates, but I hope you'll look forward to it. Koizumi-san, back to you. Please look forward to Mario's adventure jumping into the world of motion pictures. Next, we'd like to show you this. Platoon 3! Dude, you get little mechs? Oh, that's gonna be awesome.
Return of the Mammillions. Hello, everyone. I'm a researcher from the Squid Research Lab. I've been meticulously studying the mysterious squids that can transform into humanoid form. What you just saw was the latest research footage from Splatoon 3. Allow me to share a bit of what we know so far. Splatoon 3 takes place in Splatsville. It's known as the city of chaos. Centered around Splatsville are the Splatlands, a place long inhabited by advanced sea creatures such as squids and octopuses. Buildings spanning several generations are crammed into the city, creating its distinctive culture. In the Splatlands, turf war appears to be a popular activity. Its basic rules are unchanged. Two four-player teams compete against each other to ink the most area. However, the trend seems to have undergone a major shift, with the existence of new main and special weapons confirmed in the footage. In the latter portion of the footage, we were able to observe activities from Story Mode, the single-player campaign. Return of the Mammalians, meaning the reappearance of mammals, appears to be the theme of Story Mode this time around. What could this possibly mean in a world where all mammals, except for two cats, have vanished? It appears that there's still a lot to uncover. But we'll continue with our research and keep you updated once more results become available. Please look forward to more Splatoon 3. Updates to come. See you next time. So, what did you think? Splatoon 3 Sugoi! is scheduled to release in 2022. Please look forward to future updates. Okay, this is the last trailer we have to show you today. Please take a look. Doggo! HQ, set the kista. Kyori, go on. The is the HQ. Okay. 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 <laughs> Bayonetta! It seems I'm unfashionably late, but I'm ready to give you everything you want.
I'll be getting that one too. Love me some Bayonetta, man. Oh, there's so many good games coming out next year. Woohoo! Gene? <gasps> we get to play as Gene! Saw was the latest trailer for Bayonetta 3. We announced this game in 2017, and we thank you for your patience. This game will launch next year. We hope you look forward to Bayonetta's new encounters. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Nice. Nice. All right. I'm glad uh, I decided to watch this one. This one didn't give away too much stuff. This one just is like, hype me up for games next year. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Okay. Uh <laughs> If you have any uh any questions or anything we could talk about or we can hype over that'd be great. Uh if not then uh yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this. It was just something that I was going to uh tempt it out and try. Um If you want to talk about it on on Discord, make sure you hit me up. But I need to get going. So Thank you, everybody, again so much for coming back. If you if you came back from before, if not, then uh, if you're new here, welcome. Uh, I do hope you hit that follow button somewhere on your screen. And uh, that way you can be notified next time we go live, which should be tomorrow, which is what, Friday? Uh, we'll be playing some Sims tomorrow, Sims, uh, Sims 4. So if you want to stop by and, and participate and talk with us and, and hey, who knows? If you want to make your sim uh, in the game, then we'll st take the time to play your sim. So, anyway, I'm out of here. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. And until next time. See you later.